And just getting it, La La Land winning Best Picture, as our guest just predicted. So that is the breaking update this hour. La La Land taking home the Best Picture at the 89th Academy Awards. Kamal, back to you. So La La Land getting Best Picture, winning a host of awards, 14 nominations, Best Actress, Best Director. Did not win Best Actor, though, for uh, uh, Ryan Gosling. It was That, in fact, went to Manchester by the Seas, Casey Affleck. Uh, how do you react? Do you, do, you, do you think the Oscars got it right, or should uh, Ryan grab the award for Best Actor? Kamal. Your thoughts? Come on, I'm not sure if you can hear us. All right, so I'm not sure if we have Kamal on the line connection. Let, all right, we'll come back to Kamal in a bit, but let's go back to our other guests uh, who've been sort of uh, uh, torturing them over the last few hours, waiting and waiting. But it looks like, hey, you are right. It was La La Land getting best picture. So absolutely, yeah, you should, if you don't bet yet, your friend should. Definitely take you up on that offer to bet, you know, La La Land winning Best Picture. <laughs> we'll start with you. You were absolutely nailed it. Yes. Yeah, so you know, it, it, as I said, if you really watched all the films, you sort of got, I mean, I know people were arguing as to La La Land was such, what's the big deal? And you know, why is this movie? What's the hype about? But if you really watched all the films, this movie, as they say in in uh, India, in Bollywood, you know, each time I meet any Bollywood uh, director or producer, they said, you know, this film is si hatke hai. So this film was thori hatke. You know, I mean, this was a two real hatke. You know, different from the Bollywood standards, but uh, it was truly a hatke film. Uh, Rafiq, your thoughts with regards to that? Do you agree that it was the best one of the lot there, and it deserved a win, or was it really a close, tight race this year? Uh, I, I think it deserved to win. I completely agree with Hesh here. Uh, definitely a fantastic movie. And the one aspect that he briefly mentioned, which I agree with as well, is that this is a great movie for the times that we're in today. The turbulence within Hollywood, the turbulence we have as a society, and the panic and fear that a lot of people you know, feel, which in many ways is actually ties into Bollywood, because Bollywood sometimes does offer that escapism that we desire and want. And in many ways, this offered that with moderation that comes to in the third act of the movie. So de definitely deserved to win. I was secretly hoping Hidden Figures might make a surprise appearance, but that didn't work out. But I'm still very happy. Let me also, you know, while we while we have you guys uh, real quick as well, with, the, with regards to Dave Patel, you know, he was nominated for an Oscar. He didn't win it. It went to, um, you know, uh, for Mashar Ali for his role. I mean... A lot of people have been praising that. The fact that an Indian, though, got nominated that far, uh, still quite exciting. But uh, th there was also some concern that Sunny Pavar, the young boy in that movie line, wasn't listed as well. So very interesting on who gets nominated and who doesn't, despite the role. I mean, how was Dave's performance? Has he, you know, and what, to what extent has he grown from his original role at Slumdog Millionaire, where everybody saw him as that little kid, you know, answering that, the, the, the game show to, to what he's doing now? Now, Rafiq, we'll start with you. I have to say he's come a long way. Slumdog Millionaire was, I was surprised at how big of a hit it became. His performance was quite raw in that he didn't sound like an Indian. He didn't look like an Indian born on in the streets of Mumbai. And so compared to that, though, how far he's come, especially in some of the other movies he's done where uh, I think it's a, it's, it's a movie about him being a hotel manager and all that. that he's done some really good job uh, on those fronts. So I think Lion, actually, he did a really good job. He deserves it. All right. Uh, let's go back to uh, Hish real quick with regards to the same thing about Dave Patel. You know, uh, quite an exciting you know, I, time uh, for many people, especially saying that the Oscars are so white. We've seen an Indian there being nominated. Didn't win, but still uh, quite some strides, right? Yes, it's a very creditable when you, of course, see an Indian getting nominated. Even if he didn't win it, it's a really it's remarkable that he was nominated. But I was very disappointed that Sunny Pawar was not because, believe me, in, in the entire movie, I thought like Sunny Pawar's performance is the best performance compared to the rest of them, uh, even though they was nominated. But then again, we heard that you know because of the politics and because of the whole uh, sort of. Uh, who's to be nominated nominated so this way the film will be marketed better so, so so there's all these little nuances and connotations to it i would definitely say that uh dave has definitely evolved i mean in terms of slumdog millionaire i completely agree with rafiq i mean 
I even in even in the Marigold Hotel with that fake accent right. of Indian, the Peter Sellers accent, it's just like very very disturbing to me that you know you it's very caricaturish. So f compared to all those, I think this is a big leap, and I was glad that he he has realized what uh, roles to choose, and I'm also happy that he was uh, noticed for that, and he probably as an actor will make better choices. And hopefully he will never do that Peter Sellers accent ever again because it really, it really caricaturizes India and I absolutely am so against it. All right, so before we let any of you guys go, Rafiq and uh, Heish, uh, I do have some breaking news to tell you. So we obviously talked about La La Land winning Best Picture and we posted that. In fact, Heish, you know, it isn't La La Land. It is Moonlight, in fact. They read it wrong. It is a Steve Harvey moment. So La La Land, as much as we just spent the last couple of minutes talking about it, they in fact read it wrong. It is not La La Land. It is in fact Moonlight. Oh, so wow. now let me get reaction from you guys. This was almost like the Miss Universe pageant. You know, it was not. <laughs> I, I, exactly. I would... All right, but so Heish, go, let's go with you first. Um, I would say, as I, as, I, as I told you before, that you know, Moonlight was a good film. Um, I don't know. I mean, I had problems with Moonlight. And the, I mean, I, as I said, I completely was uh, routing for and completely I believed in Ali's uh, uh, role. I, be, I, I, I really wanted him to win. He did win. But in terms of the film, I had a bit of a problem with the editing. I, I felt like somewhere the film sort of, I got a little bored because it just dragged a bit. And the movie, but, but the, you know what? I'm very happy because... I'm very, very sensitive and extremely, uh, I, I'm very much caring about the whole African-American cause in this country because the plight of uh, the African-Americans is very disheartening and they should have been given an opportunity and they should have been noticed a long time ago. So I'm extremely happy that, you know, uh, this is being noticed and a lot of the African-American wonderful artists have been receiving awards. So but I salute and I completely, you know, hats off to them, my kudos. And I'm, but I'm not disappointed. So it's not like something that I'm gonna say like, oh my God, why, you know, yes, I would have loved La La Land to get because it's a different kind of a film. It was a film that needed to be noticed. And, but it has been noticed, it got so many awards. So I'm happy about Moonlight also because it was a, it was a fabulous film. I wouldn't say it's a phenomenal film like La La Land, but it is. It was a fabulous film, so uh, not not disappointed. All right, thank you, Hish, for that update. Let me now go back to Rafiq. You know, we all got excited. Everybody was sort of a the announcer, the presenter. Apparently, got it wrong. It was a, as we said, a Steve Harvey sort of moment. So, unfortunately, no, La La Land did not win that, but still a, a very outstanding job. You know, getting that many nominations, but going to Moonlight, Rafiq. Uh, uh, what do you think now? I'm going to sort of ask the same question I asked you a couple of minutes ago. Well deserved. <laughs> Well deserved, for sure. You know, a lot of really strong contenders, right? These are like those 100 meter dashes where these are all world class performances, just microseconds of difference. Um, I definitely still think La La Land should have won um, because just because of the what it does for the times we're in today. Uh, I think Moonlight uh, was a really well made movie. Uh, it should have. It's, it's, it addresses the African American community. The, you know, the LGBT community and about the struggles they face, especially when you're, you know, especially growing up uh, back in the day. I think ultimately, maybe again, there were other considerations as well that the committee had in mind uh, in terms of diversity as well of viewpoints. So maybe that, that uh, was an influence. So I stand again that that la la land should have won but i commend moonlight all right moment. well you know it's how it's how everything goes right sometimes you know we think it's over and it's not just yet over this reminds me of what happened with steve harvey poor thing gotta mention his name for the miss universe pageant <laughs> <laughs> close game la la land great job at moonlight you know grabbing the awards and heish i guess we'll have to maybe not you know, hold off on those bets i guess you were right until no, that very moment probably. when you jinxed yourself <laughs> Very close, though, very close, but we really appreciate your time. We will let you guys enjoy the night. I know it is late out there in the United States. Thank you, both of you, for sharing your perspectives and joining us here on We On. And again, apologies for taking you away from watching the Oscars. With that, we're going to take a quick break here on We On. We'll be right back with more news and updates. Stay with us.